Is your organization stuck? You have many parallel projects ongoing, but nothing moves. Everyone is waiting for information, resources, or decisions. You spend your time in endless meetings, planning, and rework. You are experiencing coordination chaos. But how did you get there? Here we have Dan. He's heading a fast-growing software-based business. The company is growing using common sense. Everyone focuses on their specialty because that's what they were hired to do. And it seems efficient. Talented, enthusiastic people just make it work. The success is based on the informal communication network. Specialization works, and it becomes the unquestioned norm. So, whenever there is a problem, a new kind of specialist is hired or nominated. The number of specialists keeps increasing, and the complexity grows. In order to get things done, the company now hires a coordination specialist. Nina is the project manager. The business grows. More customers, more products, more specialists, more coordinators. The project managers, now headed by Nina, somehow pull it together. They become the heroes who squeeze value out of the messy organization. But the more the organization grows, the more chaotic it gets. Nina's project managers use the best processes and tools, but are not able to create results like before. The key people are torn between several projects. They are working days, nights, weekends, and holidays. They are burning out. Meanwhile, some other specialists are idling because their specialty is not needed at the moment. Experienced people start to leave. The organization has become too complex to be coordinated. The top management sits down to figure it out. Resources are not optimally allocated. The people should focus more on the projects and less on other stuff. We have to tighten the ship, clarify the roles and responsibilities, define detailed processes, measure and reward individual performance. This is what management consultants advise. Unfortunately, the management action breaks the informal knowledge sharing network and things get even messier. More control and more bureaucrats, but less outcome. The company becomes slow and expensive compared to emerging rivals. The top management tries to find another solution. We still have a strong customer base, but the new competitors eat our profit margin. People are not productive and projects have become slow. We have tried everything, but we are powerless in improving the situation. Let's outsource the problem to a contractor specialized in providing resources. We can then control the contractor by commercial agreements. Nina has studied some lean and agile. She disagrees with the management plan. Dan sees the challenges with outsourcing. The problem is not about people. It is the system. Outsourcing the leadership problem would complicate things even more. But just using lean and agile best practices to improve the coordination does not solve the root cause, which is the over-specialization of the people and fragmentation of the organization. Dan sees the light. We need to think completely differently. The problem is our old thinking, where others think and others do. Others decide and others coordinate. Some companies have taken another path. They trust in customer-oriented learning and cross-functional teams. Project managers are not coordinating plans and resources. The business decision-making is fast and close to the teams. This is possible for large corporations when the top management makes the suitable organizational design and truly supports the learning. There will be discovery, innovation, and business agility. It is motivating and builds a workplace where people stay and grow. Food for Thought was provided by GoSee. More details at coordinationchaos.com.